Now, this is a story that had a lot of you talking back in 2021. Exotic zebras suddenly on the loose in Prince George's County. Yeah, we look up at the screens in the newsroom and go, are these, are these real? Is this oh, really wow. happening? You really did have to see it to believe it. But the zebras escaped from a farm in Upper Marlboro. Now, this is where exotic wildlife seller Jerry Holly had been keeping them. Now, Holly brought the zebras to Maryland from Florida. Before it was all over, two zebras died and Holly was charged with animal cruelty. Our Scott Broom has been following this case from the beginning, his reporting even took him all the way to Holly's farm in Florida, and he was there today in Hyattsville as Holly appeared in court. Scott, the judge ended up finding Holly not guilty, but tell us how this all played out. Good evening. Yeah, that's the headline, a not guilty verdict today for Jerry Lee Holly, primarily because there was simply no evidence prosecutors had that zebras that were actually on Holly's farm, not the escapees, the zebras that were actually on his farm, suffered any kind of mistreatment at all. You just went through this very long and complicated history of all of this, but in the end, Holly was not guilty today, and it was after, in some ways, the prosecution's face seemed to blow up on them. Exotic animal owner, breeder, and broker Jerry Lee Holly found not guilty today. In the wake of the escape of three zebras from his Belfield farm in Upper Marlboro in 2021, that resulted in a two and a half month effort to recapture them and the death of one escaped zebra, while another zebra left behind with the herd on the farm also died. Holly declined to talk afterward, but his lawyer, Stephen Vinnick, did. Every single witness talked about how much care and conscientious responsibility and diligence Mr. Holly gave towards caring for these animals. The prosecution's own witness, an animal control officer, testified that the zebras on the Holly farm, which turned out to be a herd of 39, were in fact just fine, with plenty of green pasture, water, and a high fence. Witnesses said the zebras escaped when a tree fell on that fence, which Holly's lawyer called an act of God. But prosecutors argued Holly was guilty of neglect for allowing the escape to happen in the first place, resulting in one escaped zebra turning up dead in a neighboring forest where it had been mysteriously caught in an illegal snare and the others running scared for months. Here's Assistant State's Attorney Edward Layden. You know, what about the general well-being of the animal? What about letting an animal of that nature out? I mean, this isn't a puppy. This isn't a kitten. Um, you know, it's not even a domesticated animal. And, and, you know, at some point, you know, common sense would seem to say, if you're gonna go down this road, fine. You know, we all have, we all make our own decisions, but you owe something to the rest of us and you owe something to the animals themselves. Judge Lamiel Gutierrez said Holly was not guilty because there was no evidence. Holly hurt zebras while they were actually in his possession. Holly's lawyer said nothing like this will happen again. I can tell you with a thousand percent certainty that Mr. Holly is out of the exotic animal business and will not be bringing any more exotic animals into the state of Maryland and certainly not into Prince George's County. As Holly walked away from me, he said he's out of the business. He doesn't even have a pet turtle anymore, but he got a lot of scrutiny in his case, partly because of his history in Florida. That's where the zebras came from down there. He's uh, been convicted. Uh, at least two times of animal cruelty and has faced sanctions from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which permits exotic animal breeders and uh, dealers uh, such as Mr. Holly. In fact, his lawyer confirmed today uh, that he is still under investigation by the USDA for a permit violation that he did not disclose. There are also a lot of unanswered questions by the time this was all over today. For instance, who was responsible for setting that snare on somebody else's property that caught one of those zebras and killed it? Perhaps prosecutors offered no evidence at all uh, that Mr. Holly was involved in that, but they didn't have any evidence of who did it uh, and how exactly it happened. It also, uh, there was a zebra that died on Holly's farm while all of this was happening. It wasn't one of the escapees. They dug up that zebra, which had been buried on the farm, did a necropsy, and they found no evidence uh, of exactly what killed it. So uh, there were lots of uh, questions remaining here, but the bottom line for Jerry Lee Holly was that this was a not guilty verdict for him today, and he walks free. Reporting live at the Hyattsville District Court in Prince George's County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, he walks free, but in some ways, Scott, we have the same questions we had back in 2001 that still linger now. All right, thank you.